judging Elden Ring fist weapons based on how effective they would be as actual weapons. The Cestus was essentially Roman brass knuckles, but made of leather with some other things. They existed through history, this design's fine. The spiked Cestus is pretty much the same, but with spikes on it and would deal additional damage. The guitar, I absolutely love this weapon, and I'm really happy that they have it. They're surprisingly good anti-armor weapons, because you can generate a lot of force like that onto a small point. And like a lot of fist weapons, they're pretty practical, because a lot of people know how to at least throw an okay punch, so they could use these. The Iron Ball and the Star Fist. Assuming it was padded on the inside and you had some bar to hold on to, you could use them. However, judging by the weight, they'd be pretty slow. So not the best when fighting enemies with other types of weapons. Although the Cestus won't really be good for that either. The Clinging Bone, I have no idea how this works, because I'm just basing it off of this picture, but if it's like some growing from your own bone thing, then yeah, you could use it, but it would hurt yourself. I don't know, is that how you use it? The veteran's prosthesis would be an effective weapon, but I assume that you'd need to lose your hand in order to use that, and it really reminds me of something, and I can't quite place what it is. Like some pirate or something in an old cartoon had a hand that looked exactly like this. The Cypher Pata, judging by the description and things, it's essentially just like magic judging from your fist. And I think that that is really cool, and really cool that they're calling it a Pata, because that's a type of sword that does that. So in use, it would be relatively similar, except, you know, with magic. And the Grafted Head, I mean, I don't know how it could work, but if you had a dragon that could bite things and breathe fire, presumably, on your hand, yeah, that, that'd be a pretty effective weapon.